While the Duke of Sussex is set off on a seven-day tour of three other African countries, today, for example, he was meeting the President of Angola. The Duchess of Sussex has remained in South Africa with baby Archie. There were no public engagements planned for Harry's wife while he was away, but we now know she had been making some private visits. And this was the most poignant one. Meghan made an unannounced trip to pay tribute to another of Cape Town's victims of the alarming rise in gender-based violence. She tied a yellow ribbon to a fence at the murder scene. The teenager was killed here at this post office when the 19-year-old had gone to collect a parcel. Meghan wrote on Instagram that it was a tragic death and she wanted to show solidarity with all those who have taken a stand. Yuneme Kwayana was raped, assaulted and murdered. Her body was dumped in a township nearby. Both Meghan and Harry said when they arrived in South Africa on Monday that they'd been following closely South Africa's horrific rise in crime, particularly against women. You've welcomed us into this community. You've been open and honest with us, both about the dangers women and children face and about how you're addressing them. The rights of women and girls is something that's very close to my heart. It's about redefining masculinity. It's about creating your own footprints for your children to follow in, so that you can make a positive change for the future. Wineme's death sparked protests here, in a country which had already become depressingly accustomed to murder and violence against women. Harry is not with Meghan at the moment. He flies now from here in Angola to Malawi. The Duke and Duchess will be back together, however, on Tuesday in Johannesburg. And as Meghan wrote at the murder scene, we stand together. Chris Ship, ITV News, Angola.